At this point, I think Kenyan youth should organize protest seminar. Let other African countries come and learn protest from them. Let them teach other African countries what they call protestology. I mean, is there anything like that? Anyway, let me explain. As you may know, in Africa right now, Kenyans are the most creative guys in protest. Like when they protest, other African countries stand and learn. See, Nigerians used to try before, but in the recent days, I bet leave the giant of Africa first. May they face other things. But Kenyans, they have this creativity when it comes to protest. You remember when they protest about finance bill, how they were able to trick their government. They would make the government believe that they want to protest in the airport. The government will run to the airport and they will go to their parliament and protest. How they are able to manage social media and communicate in a coded way that the government were not able to decode it. Now, recently, the Kenyans started another protest again. But this time, I will tell you what they are protesting next time. But let me just tell you the creativity they just used in their protest right now. Their new way of protest right now is that they got a tipper of sand and they use it to block roads. Now, it's not just about them standing in the road again or maybe facing police. Police start on a life in there. No, they, they don't pass that one. They brought tipper of sand. They trip the sand on the road and block the road. Now, this is what they are saying. They say since the government do not want to work, they are not giving the government work to do. What a creative way. Kenyans, who are you guys? Anyway, See, guys are creative. So if other African countries can learn from Kenya, especially Ghana or maybe Nigeria, there's a comment under that video that got me thinking. That like now the comment said that Ghanaians are naturally coward. That if police show up now, that everybody will run away. They will not even tell the driver. What a funny comment. But inside that comment, you could understand that it's not just about the funny comment, but it's about the unseriousness of the people fighting the government. Now I'm not gonna say fighting, not be political fighting, by demanding what is rightful yours from the government let me tell you they call you you tabi you are the leaders of tomorrow the tomorrow is here but the leaders who tell you that you are the leader of tomorrow are still there you wonder why we don't study history is because the people we are supposed to study in history are still in power go and think about that or maybe tell me what you think in the comment section but before you do do not forget to enjoy your weekend thank you